Hello everyone, and welcome to the second installment of the Dragon Ball Eats series. Today, I am going to show you how to make some basic, easy to make sushi rolls. If you have never had sushi and don't like the idea of raw fish, please bear with me, as there is actually no raw fish in this roll. But let's head to the kitchen. Here is what you will need. Sushi rice. Rice vinegar. Sugar. Salt. Sheets of seaweed and plastic wrap. The bamboo mat is not required, but it does make things easier. And a rice cooker is optional, but it makes things easier as well. And for the filling, we will be doing cream cheese, the kind that comes in a box, not the plastic tub, imitation crab sticks, and cucumber. So first you need to cook your sushi rice according to the directions on the package, or use the rice cooker. Be sure to wash your rice very well. After the rice is done, we need to season it. For each cup of rice that you cooked, you will need to add two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, and one half teaspoon of salt. Stir that all together and let your rice cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes. While that is cooking, we can cut our cucumber and cream cheese. First, let's peel the cucumber using a potato peeler. Now cut it long way into four slices. And now it's time to de-seed the cucumber. After you are done, the cucumber will look like this. Cut your cream cheese so it is about the same width as your slices of cucumber. Now that the rice has cooled down, it is time for the rolling. If you do not have the bamboo mat, it is fine. You will just need to handle the rolls with a little bit more extra care. First, place the seaweed sheet shiny side down on your plastic wrap. With the rice, try and spread it as close to the edges of the seaweed as you can. And now after laying out our filling, it is time to roll. Be sure to pack the rolls firmly, but not too tightly. And now that we got that done, time to slice it. And wetting your knife makes the roll easier to cut. And now just rinse and repeat the process until you are done. And once you are, you are ready to eat some nice homemade sushi rolls. Good sushi rolls take practice. So don't feel like you messed up if this is your first time doing them, 
and some of the pieces don't look so pretty. And careful with the concentrated wasabi, if you are buying wasabi from a regular grocery store, that stuff can be really hot. But that has been the video for today. Let me know what you thought of it, and if you have any ideas for a future Dragon Ball Eats video. But as always, thank you all for watching, and have a great day.